Ahoy, me hearties! Many years ago, God be choosing a special land and a special people to make his most special treasure evident to all who be searching for it. This special place be as real today as it was back then. The land where God's purpose began be right here in Israel. You see, it all be starting with a man named Abraham who lived in Haran. Abraham believed in God and God blessed Abraham. One day, God said to Abraham, Leave your country and your people. Go to the land I be showing you. I'll make ye into a great nation. I be blessing you. And all the nations on earth will be blessed because of you. So Abraham left his home, taking his wife, Sarah, and their nephew, Lot, along with their crew and everything they owned, even though they be having no idea what God was doing. He traveled from place to place, waiting for God to show him where to live. Abraham stopped in Shechem. Woo! I'm tired. While he be resting there, God told Abraham, I will give this land to your children after you. So Abraham built an altar there as a way to say thank ye to God. Abraham continued on his journey. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> he went to Egypt and then to the Negev Desert. He settled there with his family and crew. However it be, there wasn't enough land for Abraham and Lot's families and animals. Abraham said to Lot, Let's part ways, matey. If you be going to the left, I's be going to the right. If you's be going to the right, I's be finding my way to the left. Okay, I'll go this way. Lot chose a swashbuckling piece of land near the Jordan River. So Abraham journeyed on to a place called Canaan. Just as Abraham was getting settled in, Ah, home sweet home. God spoke to him again, saying, Look up from where you are. I will give you all the land that you see. I will give it to you and your children after you forever. I'll be making your children like the dust of the earth. Have you seen how many pieces of dust that be here in the desert? Then God said, Walk through the land. See how long and wide it is. It'll all be yours. I be giving it to you. I's not sure if Abraham be knowing this at the time, but God had a purpose in bringing him and his wife to this very place here in Israel. Whenever we be wondering why something is happening in our lives, we can remember that God has a purpose in everything.